Hi dancers! Today's video, I want to do something about uh, how to prepare for your ballet recital or how to prepare for your dance show. Okay, uh, step number one is to make a list. So, you're gonna have to make a list like what I did over here. I love lists. So here, I made a list of everything that I'm going to need for the day. So what I do, I usually list down like all my dances and then under that, whatever I need for that dance. And then it's really important because you're going to want to pack those things together. So let's say one dance is in one Ziploc bag. So one dance, headdress or like any kind of bag. Can be a small bag, big bag, whatever you like, but it's separated from everything else that you have. It's always better to bring um, an organized bag than something that's messy where you just throw everything inside your bag. Step number two for me is I like to bring the extras of everything. So I list down whatever else I need. I need extra hairpins, very important extra hairspray, extra tights, always two to three pairs of tights. Um, leotard, I bring an extra leotard. Warmers, I make sure to bring two warmers because if one gets wet, I want the other one to be clean. And then extra leg warmers, extra point shoes, always bring two to three pairs, two to three pairs of ballet shoes, extras of everything. It's better to be prepared than not. Extra sewing kit, um, extra ribbons, extra garters in case that something happens in stage. You never know what's gonna happen. You have to be prepared for every kind of situation before you go on stage. Step number three. So the day before the show is as important as the day of the recital. Whether it's a run through or anything, as long as you're running your dance, it's really important that you get rested really well. I know that you might be nervous, but it's better to sleep well than to regret it in the morning waking up oh I wish I slept some more or something like that but it's better to rest yourself well and you have to eat something good before you sleep usually what my teacher likes to say is eat a big piece of meat like protein or something but um, you don't have to eat like a steak before you sleep if you don't want to I think it's better to eat uh, less greasy foods before you sleep because you don't want to have an upset stomach when you wake up so just eat like normal kind of food healthy healthier the better of course for your morning to be good Step number four is to double check everything double check if you have your hairpins your makeup your costumes are clean make sure you're able to spot clean most of your costumes. Don't dry clean your costumes, by the way. And um, you're able to um, double check just all the things that you need for that day of the recital. It's really important. Number five is don't forget your snacks. Of course, it's important. Your water. So those things are also important for you because it prepares you towards the show. So don't forget that you're going to be there for a long time, usually. So um, before the show, get ready mentally and physically. You're going to have to get to um, the theater probably an hour before. I usually get there an hour before because it's better to be early than to be late. And then make sure you bring snacks, um, some drinks, just small snacks. Don't bring like a whole like rice meal or something like that and then um, I always have my iPod with me because I like to listen to music to help me concentrate so that's usually what I do before the show and um, you can also bring a book if you're going to be there probably for a long time which is going to help calm you down probably and, and lastly number six is to have fun so this is like the collation of everything you've been working for for months and I know a lot of you have probably been practicing for like months and months of the same routine your body already memorizes what you're doing you just you just have to focus on the music and the steps and really just dance your heart out because I know the feeling where 
you listen to the song and you just close your eyes and you already instantly your body knows how to move or where to go and it's really muscle memory and it's amazing how your mind and body works and just bring your heart with you as well as you dance and don't forget to smile so that's all for today and I hope you enjoyed the segment of my vlog and don't forget to like and subscribe see you guys next time